welcome back for another video so today is thursday i'm spending some time in my kitchen today so first before anything let's start this vlog off with a prayer so today's prayer is dear god show me how to go with your flow and not mine i'm done with working over time for things that aren't even meant to work if it's for me sent by you it'll flow naturally and come with no confusion help me distinguish what's sent by you into my life and what's not whatever is sent by you will be the things worth fighting for everything else is irrelevant and unworthy of my time and effort may everything that's for me come into my life gracefully and smoothly I decided that from now on you lead and I'll follow and I'm going with your flow because you know best in Jesus name I pray amen so I pray that that prayer blesses you guys today so like I was telling y'all I am going to be spending some time in my kitchen I love days like this where I get to just hang out in the kitchen which means I get to bake I get to cook and be left alone and I love that <laughs> so today I am making a red velvet bundt cake the kids have brought it to my attention that I have not made a bundt cake in quite a while. So today is the day for that. And I am making a big ziti. I'm hoping it gives me leftovers so I don't have to cook tomorrow. We'll see. I think so. And I think I'm going to make a side salad for that as well. But that's what I'm doing today. I'm just hanging out, cooking and baking all of it in my element. So I hope you guys enjoy the recipes I will share with you today. I will make sure to have the links to the recipe down in my description box just in case you want to go ahead and try it out. Um, I already measured everything. I'm going to start with the red velvet bundt cake first since yeah I just, i'm just gonna start start it first so let's get started all right y'all so i have everything measured out i have two and a half cups of flour in here and how many three teaspoons of cocoa powder i also have the baking soda in here got my vanilla extract ready to go my vinegar let me put this push it back my vinegar i also have my buttermilk my red food coloring i just went ahead and bought the big thing from amazon it's from mccormick it's cheaper to buy the big one from amazon versus like the little ones from the grocery store i prefer to get it like this i've had it since last christmas um two cups of sugar a stick of melted butter also i have three fourth cup of vegetable oil and two eggs so let's start baking all right y'all so it says in a large bowl whisk together the oil the butter and the sugar you can do so by hand or with an electric mixer with the whisk so if, let's say if you don't have a mixer you can use the hand mixer too if you have that mix for one to two minutes on medium speed until combined so let's do that let's add the oil Butter. Okay. And then we're going to add the sugar. All right, start mixing. Let this mix for one to two minutes. I think it's combined pretty well so now we're gonna add the eggs so it's two eggs just added one I'm gonna add the buttermilk just one cup okay Vanilla extract, that'll be two teaspoons of vanilla extract. That's one. That's two. We're gonna add one teaspoon of vinegar, the white clear vinegar. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of red food coloring. So, I try to be careful with this thing because it stains my fingers and 
everything it touches. So, all right, there's one. And two. This is leaking, so let me get a paper towel real quick. So we are going to add the dry ingredients now. We're going to do half of the mixture and then let that mix together and then the other half of the mixture. You want to do it kind of slowly, because if not, you get like a cloud of a cloud of flour. Let that mix in there. Okay. And then once it's all in there, I go ahead and scrape the sides and the bottom, make sure everything is well incorporated. And there it is. Let me let that mix in there. So what I'm going to do now is try to scrape the sides, but some of it is at the top of the little paddle brush. I mean, not paddle brush, paddle attachment, and I just make sure everything is in there. All right, let's scrape the sides. If I wasn't talking to you guys right now, I would be playing some uh, jazz music in the background. I love jazz music. So relaxing. The calming kind, not the big hype kind, because there's the one that's like really fast. But I, what I mean is like the, the calming one. So let's scrape this. Okay, we're gonna let that mix together. It's really fast. Once you get your ingredients measured out, once you, and you put them all together, it doesn't take too long. So let that mix. So this is my favorite, favorite baking spray. This one is the Baker's Joy. It has butter and um, flour in it already, so you don't have to worry about it sticking to the pan. So far, I've never had it stick to my pan, so. Where's my pan, though? Oh, it's old. I'm gonna use, I'm going to use this baking pan. Got it from the Goodwill for $5. That's where I get all, all my um, baking stuff. I get it from the thrift store, because, you know, it's pretty expensive, and this is a good one. So, it works well.
red velvet bundt cake out of the oven. That's what it looks like so far. Um, so I have it sitting there cooling. I'm getting ready to get started with the baked ziti. I already boiled the ziti pasta, got that done. I had to go to Food Lion and get the, that's the oven, let me know it's ready. Get what I did I have to get? Oh, the Italian, ground Italian sausage, but it's semi-frozen. So I'm getting ready to get it from out back. I put it outside for a little bit so it can thaw it out enough, just enough for me to cook. And then I'm going to take you guys step by step with this recipe. All right, y'all. So I'm using the ground Italian sausage. You can use the one that comes in the casing. I just prefer the ground one because I don't have time to be taking stuff out of the casing. Ain't nobody got time for that. But I also like to use my little meat masher. You guys always ask me about this thing. We got it from Walmart, but even Dollar Tree has it now. And I've had this for six years now. Um, this is a Betty Crocker one. But Dollar Tree has, a, I think, a long black one. They have it everywhere now. So at the time, it was pretty like rare to find, but you could pretty much find it anywhere right now. So we're going to cook the sausage first. Get that going. It's easier to work with now because I had it outside for a little bit. It's not so frozen. But I like to use the meat masher because it helps with the arthritis in my hands. It makes crumbling meat up very easy. So let's cook this real quick. All right, y'all, so now I'm gonna add the garlic. In here, I like to get the minced garlic from Costco or Sam, so Sam, so it doesn't matter to me. So I add the garlic, stir that in there together. I also lower down the heat now that the meat is cooked. So now I'm going to add oregano. It's usually the spices I don't actually measure, so I just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. It has the measurements, so if you feel more comfortable using the measurements, the measurements, it has it on the recipe. I'm also adding some basil, dried basil. Just add some. All right. Added some kosher salt. Just using more, this more like a spoon. And then I'm gonna also add some pepper. Just a little bit, not too much. All right, and then I'm going to stir it and cook for one minute. So what I'm gonna do is add two cans of tomato sauce. This is the Kirkland brand. I already lowered down the heat, but I'm gonna lower down some more so it don't start popping on me. Add another can. And then I'm gonna add one can of diced tomatoes. And then I'm gonna stir this up and then let this cook on low for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put the top on here. That smells so good in here, y'all. If y'all could just, if we had smell vision, that would be awesome. All these things that they have invented and no one has invented yet some smell of vision. That would be pretty cool. So now I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna push it back. And what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm gonna add like a teaspoon of sugar. So let me go get the sugar real quick, please, Holmes. Just add a teaspoon of sugar in there. You know, um, cut down on the acidity and remove this a little bit. And then I'm going to add some fresh basil. So, 
going to stir that up. And then just leave this alone. And I'm going to work on the sauce that I'm about to make. Alright. It smells so good. Alright, so I'm just going to cover this back up and just leave this alone for now. Alright y'all, so I have this saucepan. So right here I have one cup of cold whip, uh, heavy cream. And I added one teaspoon. It's all here. I could have added it in a saucepan, but that's okay, no big deal. And I'm just gonna thicken the sauce up. What I'm gonna do is, I'm going to whisk it for three to four minutes, just thicken the sauce up. So in this dish, I added one pound of cottage cheese, and then I'm gonna add, I, I whisked together two eggs already. Get the rest of that out. All right. We're going to add one cup of Parmesan, grated Parmesan cheese. And then we're gonna add some mozzarella cheese. Now for this recipe, it calls for um, cube cheese, but I don't have that. So I have nothing but grated mozzarella and that's what I'm going to use. So I thought it's a really big deal. But next time, maybe I could do the the cube cheese and stuff, but I don't have that right now. So I'm just gonna add one cup, and then I'm going to mix that together. to make this the heavy cream sauce in here instead it would have saved me a pot but this is the same pot I used to boil the pasta noodles so the sauce is nice and thick and it's asking for you to put the cottage cheese mixture in there so let's do that real quick and then we're gonna stir all that up and then you're gonna have to I'll say add some of the it says add some of the red sauce in here as well make sure the heat is off Taking my time pouring this in here so that, that I, don't, I don't splash everywhere. And there you go. So it says add about a cup of the sauce. So I'm not even gonna bash her. I'm just gonna eye it. I'm gonna stir everything in here. And now we're going to add the pasta. I'm gonna stir that. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and sprayed down my casserole dish with this Bertoli organic um, extra virgin olive oil. I love um, using that, so this is my casserole dish. One of my, our friends gave this to me for Christmas because the one I had broke, and then she, that's what she gave me for Christmas. So I'm going to pour this pasta in here. It's pretty, the pot is pretty heavy, so bear with me. Let me put this like this. And then I'm gonna pour the sauce on top. Try not to make a mess. Is that everything? Okay, almost. Get this going. Now, if you don't like cottage cheese, you can use ricotta cheese, but I know some people don't like ricotta cheese. So if you don't like ricotta cheese, you can use cottage cheese, so it's up to you. A lot of the recipes, you just use it as a guide and just have your own way of doing it. If you wanna add a different ingredient, you're more than welcome to it. 
ground turkey, ground beef, whatever you want to use. So I'm going to pour now the sauce. some mozzarella cheese. I'm using the grated kind. Some people use the sliced mozzarella cheese. You can use that too. You can also grate your own mozzarella cheese. That's your choice. Just use the rest that I have in here from this bag. This is definitely going to give me two days worth of meals. I'm excited. Yes. And then I'm going to sprinkle the rest that I have left of Parmesan cheese. Now, if you see, come to see that, um, look at the little piece, that the, cat, the ziti is all the way at the top, most likely it's going to bolt boil over in the oven so I would put a baking sheet underneath so like that you can prevent the mess no nobody want to be cleaning no oven after cooking all this meal so now I'm going to get some aluminum foil now with aluminum foil I recommend for you to spray the aluminum foil so like that the cheese is not attached to the aluminum foil doesn't stick to it and cook it in the oven for 375 degrees for 25 minutes after the 25 minutes, take the aluminum foil off and let it cook another 25 minutes in the oven uncovered. And can you guys believe I have no aluminum foil? So I have to add that to the grocery list. Yeah, so I'm going to cook this in the oven at 375 for at least 50 minutes. <laughs> it is what it is, oh well. of the mess when you're filming now I'm not a messy cook I actually cook like clean as I cook but when I'm filming it's a little different stuff everywhere mm -hmm. <laughs> all right y'all so now I'm gonna make the cream sauce that goes on top of the uh, pound cake the bun cake is already pretty much cold came out of the oven nice and easy from the pan that's why I love Baker's Joy. Never have any issues. So I'm going to, I have like half a block of cream cheese, which is four ounces. And then I'm going to add, I'll say, two cups of powdered sugar. Don't hear measuring. So I'm just going to add that in there. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the vanilla extract. Not going to measure. Just going to add it a little bit. And then I'm going to add some heavy cream, just a little bit at a time. I'll just keep pouring some in there if I feel like it needs some more, but I mean, we'll see. Depends on the texture you're going for. Some people like the thick sauce, some people like a little thinner sauce, so we'll see how that goes.
when I make the icing, I make it a lot thinner. So when I drizzle, it easily goes over top of the cake with no problems. This time I made it a little thicker. I just, I don't know. I just wanted to make a thicker uh, sauce. Now I could have used a piping bag so it could go on there a lot easier. I was kind of struggling here, but um, it is what it is. It tasted delicious. Everything was so good, so good. child that will be all i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already i will make sure to leave the recipes down in my description box just in case if you guys want to go ahead and check it out and i will see you guys on the next one bye y'all